afternoon, Richard. How you doing? Uh, good. You talked about you, you feel you kind of made the, the most of your opportunity here, and, and um, do you feel the scheme kind of kind of fits your skill set and what you do? Uh, yeah, um, I feel like I've been you know doing the most with all my opportunities. So you know, and um, the scheme, I fit perfectly in the scheme, and um, you know, it just been get my feet wet and just getting adjusted back to the game with everything. But yeah, I do feel like, you know, um, I've been adjusting pretty well. There's been so much focus on the injury to Dak and the injuries in the offensive line. Do you think it's been a little bit overshadowed how much you guys have been through secondary-wise with the injuries, particularly at corner? Um, to be honest, uh, it's next guy up. Um, how we feel, you know, um, everybody is out here preparing themselves every day. You know, the coaches are preparing us. So, you know, if one guy go do, do go down, you know, um, we're confident enough in the guys that we do have in the room, in the back end. You guys spent the vast majority of last Sunday's game in your nickel defense. How different is this week with the way that the 49ers like to use their personnel groupings? I know they're in 21 personnel a lot. How different is this week compared to last week? Um, you know, it's a different team. You know, um, I'm pretty sure that they're going to scheme up differently against us. But I feel like, you know, we just got to go out there and just really do our jobs. That's at the end of the day. It doesn't really matter what the their offense running. You know, it's just up to us to go out there and just do our jobs as a whole and as a defensive unit. Richard, what were you doing last year? Uh, as you know, you had the suspension and out of the league. What, what were you doing to 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 get by and maybe end with an eye to get back in the league? Um, to be honest, man, I, I was working on myself. Um, Evaluated my life as a whole, you know, I was constantly training down in Florida. Uh, I had enough time to, you know, spend time with my son. Um, but the whole time, you know, I was constantly grinding, you know, just really looking over my whole situation as a whole and, you know, just trying to grow from it as a person, you know, and just clean up my character, you know, and just continue just stay on the straight and narrow and just show that I'm really a football player, you know. Were you pretty hard on yourself when you look back at some of the decisions you made and, and where you were? Of course not. That's one thing about me. I don't regret nothing I go through, you know. It's, it's a learning. So I just go ahead and just keep rolling with the punches. You know, I take everything to the chin. You know, I accept my wrong as a man, and I just don't look back at it. You know, the only thing you can do is just keep going forward. What do you feel like this season you've been able to Maybe less proof to others, but more so proof to yourself. I still got it, man. You know, being out for that that time and coming back in and just trying to perform at a high level, you know, trying to cram in a playbook, get the scheme down, um, get the chemistry down with your teammates, just going out there just balling. That's one thing. And just not really not trying to have any butterflies, even though they're going to come, but just staying grounded, you know, and just believing in yourself at the end of the day. Again, Richard. Excuse me. Did Did you start to wonder at any point late last year or in the off season if you would get a chance like this again? Mm, I pray to God. You know, He looks down and you know He answers blessings. So I never worry about those type of things. You know, one thing I can do is control what I can control and go out there and just do the best I can do. Richard, how would you describe what Al Harris is like as a coach? I've been knowing Al all my life, you know, um, from Pompano Beach, Florida, and everything. But he's a he's a good mentor, you know. Uh, he's a coach, he's a big brother, and he's a father figure, you know. And just being with him, you know, he keeps us calm. That's one thing I can say. He's not the coach to do all the yelling and the, the shouting, you know. He'll let you calm down. He gonna come to you and you know address it. You gonna talk about it. Next play, go out there and just play, you know. And that's the the positive about having a, a former defensive back who played in the league for so many uh, so many years as a coach because he understands from a player's point of view as well. Do you ever talk to 
him about what it was like in Mike McCarthy's first years in Green Bay when he was playing for Mike? Uh, no, I never really asked um, at all. I always just, you know, when me and him is talking, it's either about life or, you know, we, we're on football, really, or the next team, the scheme, something like that. You've been around Jordan your whole life. When did you start? When did you guys first meet? And I, I've been knowing Al ever since I was a little boy, man. To be honest, um, that's really like family to me. I call him family. Man, his son played together growing up, you know. So I've been knowing him all my life. For sure, you obviously started your career with the 49ers. What added meaning comes when you when you face them? On Sunday? Uh, to be honest, uh, yeah, I did start my career with them. Um, it's another game to me, you know. Uh, go out there and just compete, you know, put out the best film you can. But, you know, I really don't, you know, just put a, I ain't never really put a date on the calendar or circle it or nothing like that. You know, I'm familiar with a lot of the dudes, I'm familiar with the coaches, I'm familiar with the scheme. So I'm just ready to go out there and just perform. How did you take when they traded you to the Jets a couple of years ago? Um, it's a business at the end of the day. You know, um, control what you can control. You know, it was a, a bittersweet moment. You know, I started off my career there. I thought I was going to end my career there, but, hey, man, stuff happens. You know, God makes no mistakes, and, you know, everything happened for a reason. How do you feel you've grown as a player and as a person since your time with the Niners? Oh, um, man, I didn't grown a lot. Uh, that's all I really can say. I didn't grow a lot, man. From a player, just really learning the game more, being more of a student of the game. Um, and as a person, you know, I was young at the time. You know, um, I was immature with a lot of stuff, and you know, I had to go through a lot of stuff really to understand stuff. You know, some people they they get told things, and that's how they go about it, or that's how they learn from it. And other people, you know, they have to actually go through stuff. You know, to really see, you know, what it is on the other side. And, you know, I went went through a lot of trials and tribulations, and it's just good to be back. What's your advice to, say, a rookie, having been through some of the things that you were you went through early in your NFL career? What are some of the lessons or, you know, just some of the guides that you would give to a young guy coming into the league? Uh, one thing, you know, uh, Whatever, you know, whatever their spirituality is, you know, um, that's one thing. It's always a higher power. So I say put God first um, and stay grounded, you know, stay humble, you know, and enjoy the moment because you never know when it's your last play, your last snap, you know, and when you out there, just put your best foot forward, you know, because there's a lot of people out here who uh, cut off a leg, you know, to be in this, our shoes. We get paid king's money to play a child's game. You know, so just take advantage of it, have fun, man, and just don't hold nothing back. When you out there, man, don't hold nothing back. That's one thing I can't say. Just stay the course, you know, stay out the way, be a professional, be a pro. It sounds like as a secondary, you guys got some guys back today. Uh, can, you, can you kind of yeah. tell us what it was like out there and see some of those familiar faces? Man, it was good, man, seeing the guys back out there, you know, we out there flying around, having fun, you know, making plays on the ball. We needed that energy, you know, it's good. You know, we got extra numbers back, and it's just time really to go out there and just play ball.